Hey, what's up? Welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. I'm Tyler. Thank you so much for stopping by. Tonight we've got a beer from Beer Tree Brewing out of Johnson City, New York. Before we get into it, just wanted to encourage you to hit that subscribe button at the end of the video if you like what you see. Would really appreciate that too. Yeah, so tonight, um, Beer Tree Brewing, um, this is going to be their Super Soaker, which is a double IPA coming in at 8.1% alcohol by volume. Uh, there is no hand on day I don't think uh, um, and this will be the second beer tree beer I think I've done on the channel if I'm not mistaken uh, so anyway really excited to get into this one um, I have a few friends who uh, really enjoy them uh, some beer tree um, so let's go ahead and crack it open and we'll get in the glass let's see what's in store with this one Pouring very light. I'll leave some extra room there. All right, so appearance-wise, um, yeah, it looks pretty nice. It's got a nice golden uh, hue to it. Uh, it's kind of leaning towards that, uh, like maybe pineapple juice looking color. Uh, it's got a little bit of light coming through, but it's pretty hazy. There is actually a lot of, um, sediment kind of left in suspension. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but it's a very thick amount of sediment. It's not the super like flake, you know, the flakes of, of sediment. This is more of just like very, um, I don't know, it's just packed full. So anyway, nice looking beer, about two fingers worth of bright white, really tight bubbled head. Aside from the top where it looks a little bit more Soap sudsy. So nice looking beer in the glass. Let's go ahead and shove our nose in this thing. Yeah, it smells quite nice. It's got a almost like a fruit punchy type of vibe to it. Yeah, I'm getting some ripe stone fruit ripe like peach there's even some pineapple in there as well some mango a little bit of like an orange starburst it definitely has a little bit of a candied type of aspect to it possibly a little herbal something like that Mostly leaning towards the tropical fruit. I'm even sensing maybe just a tiny bit of like papaya or something. Like it's very tropical, very fruity. It smells quite nice. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Cheers. Mm, not bad at all. I will say right up front, I notice a little bit more malt. Uh, so it definitely has like a prevalent bready malt character. Uh, even a nice bit of like a wheat type of thing. Like it's it's very noticeable. Like it's got a wheaty, wheatiness to it. Not weed, like wheat. Like the wheat malt. Um Yeah, definitely got a wheat type of thing. I'm even getting a little bit of like a, almost a honey sweet, honey sweetness of some kind. I don't think there's honey in here, but that sweetness is giving me that, like it's reminding me of honey. Nice, super soft, creamy mouthfeel. Probably around a medium, a medium plus. So it's got a really nice mouthfeel to it. Not picking up on that 8.1%. Um, as far as the flavors, though, from the hops, I am getting a decent amount of citrus. Tangerine or the little, maybe even the little cuties, the little tiny, like, clementines or whatever they are, but you can just peel them with your hand. Um, getting some of that as well as a little bit of, like, the pineapple, um, like, the dull, like, canned pineapple.
Yeah, I mean, possibly a little bit of that mango and peach coming through. Really solid stuff. Um, you know, it's nothing super impressive. It's just a really solid, well done New England IPA. And, you know, what more can you really ask for? Um, I have no complaints over this one. Like, zero. I mean, I'm happy to drink this. I'm happy I picked up a four pack of it. Um, I'll drink those with literally zero problem. So, uh, I would recommend it. Um, you know, that's the best advice I can give. Let me know if you've had this one because I would love to hear from you. I think I liked the other one a little bit, a little bit better. I think it was called Kitty King. It was a triple IPA. It was really freaking good. Um, so yeah, beer tree, pretty cool stuff. I really love that logo. Like every time I do one of their beers, which is the second time, but I gushed over their, um, uh, logo. I love that tree with the hop cone. Um, really, really cool. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you think. I'm going to rate this beer a four. I think it's, you know, solid, solid stuff. Uh, great beer. And I would drink it again. So um, anyway, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you like what you saw, consider hitting that subscribe button. Otherwise, leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you think about this video. And we will see you in the next review. Cheers.